Hi, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to create flowcharts and diagrams using ChatGPT. As you can see right here, I'm currently inside ChatGPT, and this should be the landing page you should be seeing on your end also. And by the way, the best part about this video is that it is totally 100% free. So this process, again, is 100% free. And I have my handy dandy notepad right here. Let me just pull it up. So I have this one. You can pause a video and copy this prompt. So we can be, or this can be our guideline. So first one is our first prompt. Second one is going to be our second prompt. Now, once you're in ChatGPT, again, this is just the free trial of ChatGPT and not the upgraded plan. I'm just going to copy my prompt, pull out my notepad, copy the first one, paste it right there. Now, before I click on enter, this is the give me the steps to create a systematic product review. Now, this idea right here cannot, or rather, what can I say about this one is that it doesn't really need to be as it is. For example, just think of any topic that you want. This can be give me the steps to create a systematic process flow. This could be a systematic um, output, or it can even be give me the steps on creating a thesis. Any topic is really good here. I'm just going to click on enter. And our chat GPT will give me, I think, at least the minimum of 10 um, product review here, step by step. Now we're at number 6 right now, and this is 7. And right now, this is the number 10. So I, I was wrong. It was up to more than 10. So we have right here, I have 13. Now I can have an option to make it shorter. For example, I'm going to make it shorter. And with that, we have a shorter version of what we're dealing with. Now, this is a much more better review. It's a just a 10 steps right there. I'm going to go open my handy dandy notepad. And with this, this is the most crucial part. This second prompt right here, if I paste it right there, please create a flowchart representing the process of write your process or topic here. So since this is a systematic review, of a product i'm just going to type in process of a systematic product review so i'm just filling in the terms there and then incorporating the above steps either as chat gpt to create the steps for you or paste your steps i'm just going to type in as seen above i'm just going to fix the grammar here because chat gpt is very sensitive regarding grammar sure Ensure the related steps such as step and step right there. I'm just going to type in right here. Step one and step number five. I'm just going to do this by random. Are placed side by side. Now with that, I'm just going to simply click on enter. As you can see right here, I'm just making sure that everything falls through. Now this is currently a code right now. Now you might ask me how come it's not a PowerPoint. It's not an Excel file or a Word file because ChatGPT has a default option via code. You can upgrade your version to change that, but for now, we're going to deal with what we have here. So I'm going to open my Winopad one more time and I'm just going to type in this code or prompt rather. So give me the mermaid code for this or rather mermaid format. I'm just going to simply click on enter and there we have it. We have the mermaid code format for this exact graph or diagram simply click on copy code now we're done with the chat gpt part let's proceed with the next website i'm going to open it right now so it's going to be called draw.io this is the link and to enable this one simply open a new tab type in draw.io and there we have it simply click on that one right there and this is going to be your new landing page now you're going to have an option to use Google Drive or where to save it. But for now, you can decide later. And this is the default. So if you're seeing a white end on your screen, for example, the notification, the theme is white. You can change it on the upper right section right there. You can buy a dark light, for example, but I don't really like the light color. I'm going to go with dark. Now with this one, simply first, of course, name the diagram. I'm just going to click on name or file click on new i'm gonna name this one let's just say systematic 
product review. So I have right there, make sure it's blank diagram, click on create. Now we have a saved file. Next up, you'll see this plus icon or cross. I'm going to click on drop down icon, click on advance, look for mermaid. So you might see where I'm going with this. I'm going to remove everything. I'm just going to paste and there we have it. Click on insert and there I have it. I have a diagram right now. Now, as of now, I can just save it, use it another discussion, maybe presentation, PowerPoint, what may have you. But since I'm a bit more on the editing side right now, I am actually have the mood to edit some more. I can edit this one, for example, I can change the color, um, change the text, change the font style right here. So imagine you're on Word right now or Microsoft Word. You can change the background color, for example, place this a little bit more to the red side, like so. One more thing, you can arrange it. You can make, place it backward, front, and that one. Again, if you want to decide or design all of the bars right here or graphs, simply click on the style option. And then you're going to have right here a lot of choices. So there is another one right there. I'm going to go with this. But you might notice this one. There is a sketch option. Let's try this one right now. And there we have it. It's just like a black board or a green board written. If I place it right there, it's much more likely to look like a green board. So that is the editing platform for you on this side of the um, editing. And now if you click on this one, the shapes, for example, I can add that one and make it a new arrow and connect it on the last one right there. Like so, if I'm not familiar or not satisfied with it, I can simply delete it like so. No problem at all. There are a lot of things going on here. For example, you can add some advanced settings. This one right here, I'm pretty um, sure this is helpful. I'm going to add some lines right there to make it all together. I'm going to align it perfectly right so. And now once you're satisfied with your design right here or your diagram, make sure you click on file. Now do not click on save or save as because you're going to save this as an HTML, a code file. Rather, click on export. You have a lot of choices for photo. You can use PNG, JPEG, WebP, and FGG or SVG for uh, Photoshop, PDF right here, HTML, and so on and so forth. I'm going to go with PNG. I can make a diagram, transparent. I'm going to click on export. I'm going to go with device or download. Click on OK. And there we have it. We have a sample diagram that was made from scratch. We have it right here on our computer right now. And that being said, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.